Corbinian Holzer uh, joining our uh, broadcast staff along with Clayton Hanser down at the end. And so we'll pose the first one to you, Corbinian. How excited are you to hit the ice today? Uh, yeah, very excited. Uh, uh, I, I know it was a long season for us, uh, but uh, I actually can't wait to get back on the ice. Uh, uh, summer workout's been long enough, and I can't wait uh, to just step on the ice again. Now, uh, tomorrow you get your fitness testing. Uh, that's the one part when I was playing that I used to just dread, and you wanted to get that over with as quick as possible. But uh, it sounds like there's going to be some real uh, different sort of uh, things that they're going to do as far as testing is concerned this year. Uh, do you know what it's going to be exactly, and uh, how much forward are you looking to it, uh, uh -huh. having to get it done? I think uh, nobody really looks forward to testing. So uh, even if it's in school or whatever, or especially now, it's uh, like you said, you, know, you want to get over it and uh, want to get it done as fast as possible. But it's uh, it's a good uh, good way for coaches, management uh, to see how players worked in the summer, and I think it's a good thing. And uh, it's always a uh, uh, a tough the tough first two two days and get it done. But uh, afterwards, you feel pretty happy about it and. Uh, you're happy you're done with it and uh, I think uh, tomorrow is like uh, we do a Wingate bike test so it's like uh, 30 seconds as hard as you can with like much resistance on the bike and then uh, I think afterwards there's two skating tests one is like uh, six times up and down on the ice uh, and with like 30 seconds rest in between I think and uh, the second one after is like the first one is uh, 30 seconds on as much laps as you can go back and forth then four minute break and uh, one minute as much as you can, four minute break and then two minutes as much as you yeah. can. And uh, after that, you're done in two ways. You're probably done with yourself, <laughs> done with the testing. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a tough one, but uh, uh, I think it's a nice way uh, to test on the ice too. We, I didn't have that since I'm here in Toronto. So I think uh, it's a good way uh, to see results. And uh, it, at the end, it counts what you do on the ice. And I think it's a good way to test. We have questions not coming just from our panel, but also online as we're using Marley's Live, the hashtag throughout the full day to bring your questions to the players and get them your, or get you their responses. This one coming in from a, fa a familiar name. You might recognize it, M Mala 9 He tweeted in first thing this morning, Marcel Mueller, and he wanted to know where's that German boy, and he wants to know if you're having fun today. So maybe talk through, you talk about tomorrow's events, yeah. maybe discuss some of today's events as well, and if you're having a good time doing it. Uh, today is pretty easy actually, so it's a lot of fun. You, I got just got in like uh, maybe an hour ago and uh, just get ready for uh, body fat testing, uh, FMS is like uh, flexi flexibility testing. So uh, you just get ready for that, and then after that, you got uh, we got lunch prepared and uh, everything like that. So it's a pretty e easy day today. So they save everything for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm having fun so far. Well, I know uh, it's a lot different than when Bob McGill was the defenseman going through training camp and media day, but uh, believe it or not, Bob had some pretty good hockey card headshots. Are you a guy that worries about his hair out there? Oh, <laughs> look at me. Yeah, I, I, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just had my headshot, and uh, I just put the jersey on, take the picture, put it, like, take it back off and leave. That's it. That's the easiest part of the day, actually. Now, Corbinian, uh, you know, the short summer with going to the Calder Cup finals last year, uh, I think you really made a mark last year within this organization. Uh, how do you feel about coming into camp and not being able to participate in National Hockey League training camp, but, uh, and looking forward to that being over with and maybe getting a chance to jump to the National Hockey League? Uh, yeah, well, uh, everybody, I think every hockey player wanted to play the NHL camp, but it's, it is what it is, and uh, right now I'm happy to have the opportunity to play here, come down here and uh, get my uh, getting mid-season shape or in game shape, and uh, I hope as soon as the season starts uh, then the, and the camp starts in the NHL, uh, you kind of have a little head, head start on the other guys and uh, maybe can make the best of it. And, I'm uh, right there, and uh, I just want to make the jump, so I think this is the best way for me to prepare for uh, the, uh, the Leafs camp or the NHL camp, if, if there's one. Well, you, uh, you're you a key part of uh, the Toronto Marlies blue line in the top two, especially in the postseason with you and Mark Fraser in the shutdown pairing, and uh, you've transformed into that to, since coming over to North America. A gentleman who hopes to do the same is uh, Leo Komarov, so we'll get to him in a moment, but thank you very much, uh, yep. Corbinian, for joining us today. Sure, absolutely. Thanks, guys.